Hello everyone, Jack here from Second Gear and welcome yourselves back to Her Majesty Spiffing the most British game around. Now you'll never guess what, I this game has actually made me do something I haven't done in like a decade. Seriously, I haven't had to do this for a long ass time. And that is look up a walkthrough cause for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out. I, I don't know what, I didn't know what you needed to do. I tried every feasible combo fucking nation possible that my brain could throw up at the screen didn't work so i did actually have to look up a walkthrough just a written one because frankly i didn't want any video spoilers at all and you're not going to believe the things that we actually have to do this session which i don't actually know if it's going to be the end or not but for some reason you offer him you, bring a rock to a gunfight. you offer him the rock can we pick it back up don't be fooled by the rocks that i've got I'm okay still, i'm still francis from uh Dorking. So really there should be a bullet hole in this, but nope. Okay, so something I should have thought about considering this game is kind of run on stereotypes. Cheese! The French, they love the stinky cheese. So we take the cheese over to Mr. Bonaparte. yo -ho! I've brought a peace offering. A sample of delicious British dairy produce. Yes, quite. He doesn't like it. Do not insult my palate with your bland, insipid rotten lactose. It fails in comparison to our superior, deliciously aged rotten lactose. Oh, that's diplomacy off the dining table. Okay, so I don't actually know why we had to get him to shoot the cheese. It is now Swiss cheese, which, um... Well, it's not Swiss cheese, it's holy cheese. But I honestly have no idea why we had to do that. But I did figure out what we actually need the metal detector for, and it makes a lot of goddamn sense, frankly. Where is the number one place in your house you would find change? Stereotypically. Go on, I'll wait. That's right. The sofa. You normally drop change in the sofa. I, I didn't I don't think I actually need to explain what happens next. So we've got to go inside here, we've got to use them. Shut again. up. Can I get you anything? Just skip it and be done with it. Thank you. Sorry, we've heard it so many times before in our struggle to actually figure out what thing fresh how to even do with this game. Alright, come on English. So, we gotta get something from the sulfur. Wait, have I already given it away? Did I did I say the thing that we're actually going to be finding? I honestly can't remember what I what I said. This is not good. And I am debating whether to just not do uh, the Saturday uh, the Saturday videos being Subnautica and Seven Days to Die because they are all kinds of fucked up right now. Like Seven Days to Die, I need to do so much work on, but I don't want to bore you guys with having to go around and do it all because frankly it just isn't interesting in the slightest. All right, sofa time. We need to equip ourselves the metal detector. We shall scan it and. Oh, what have we here? Either the upholstery's been woven from tinsel, or we've hit the jackpot. Indeed, my good man. All right. It's an elegant lady's purse filled with loose change. Oh, sorry, clicked off the game. Now, can we examine this? Why, there's more money in this purse than most indie game developers make in a year. Ha! I count at least 89 pence. <laughs> oh, that's just sad for the indie developers. Okay, so I think we've got to take this downstairs and you shall see what happens. After this bit, I have no idea what to do next. I don't want to look too much in case, you know, it ruined it for me. If you want a job done around here, you've got to do it yourself. So I basically just looked for the exact part where we're actually stuck on. Whether or not this will work is a completely different matter. I just want to know what we actually needed to use the metal detector for. So we come in here. We right-click the frog tank. The coin purse. While I'm here, I may as well give it a go. Oh my god, it does work. So I made the connection that obviously the French people, they do love... Well, not love. They do like the taste of frog's legs. So, we've got to catch ourselves a frog, it seems. Uh, w to move up, and then press... Wait. Left or A. Wait. Okay, there we go. It only moves... Let... Oh, crap. We've screwed this up, haven't we? Yeah, it only moves left uh, left or right. Crap. So what, do I need... I, ca I can't get out of this. 
Please? Can you, can, can you catch him? No? Get off of that. It doesn't work. Oh, nope. There we go. Okay, so I'm guessing I've got... Literally just got to time it properly. Alright, so we'll follow. I can't move it to the left. I need the instructions again, please. I can't remember how... What it said to... Bring the claw down. It's in the perfect spot, goddammit. Alright. Gosh! It's full of the blighters. Fantastic. Really? I'm not going to get the, um... The tutorial again. Well, you just suck. It's right there, goddammit. Please? Gosh, ah! These chaps are slippery customers. Okay, okay, I get you. Alright, so we actually have to press the button. So, no, that's going to... Failed. Alright, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. So now we need to go up here. Over there. I can't get a grip of the little blighter. He's too slippery. Really? Oh, don't tell me he's going to go over there and not drop... Oh. It's going to be a long time, people. This going to be a long one. God damn it. Alright, go. Please? Please? Alright, so I'm guessing we ah, just... These chaps are slippery customers. Well, give me some goddamn advice then. I can't get a grip of the little blighter. He's too slippery. So I'm guessing that's our hint. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Could it possibly... Just shut the box? Actually, no. Open the backpack. Equip the CD. Thank you. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to make a difference or not, but there has to be a reason for this to actually be here. And for the gramophone to actually be pointing at the tank. Alright. So we get on the bike. So what does this actually do? Apparently nothing. Nope, it does absolutely nothing. Alright, maybe it... I, I don't know. So how in fresh hell am I meant to catch these things properly? Because this one didn't seem to move at all. Nope, going to have to retry it. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Please... I don't need to move. He's right there. I wait for it. Wait for him to go all the way. Ah, these chaps are slippery was, customers. Da, da, da. I can't get a grip of the little blighter. He's too slippery. Then tell me what to do, you imbecile. And I'm not going to be able to go straight down on top of that one. Nope, that would be way too simple. Can't I just smash the tank and grab one for God's sake? Gah, these chaps are slippery customers. I hate this game. I absolutely hate it. Shut up. No way. I can't use these two together. Yes, you can. It's called you smash the glass, you grab a frog. That's the new game. I go up, go across. I can't go any further forward. Just wait for him to move or not. Oh I can't my get a grip of the little God! Blighter. This is going to kill me. Yeah. I hate claw machines. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I don't know if the game's trying to troll me or Come on, you little shit, just move. I'm guessing we got we have to anticipate their movements. Which is impossible because they seem to be randomized. And I can't move up or down. This is pissing me off the fact you can only move left and up. Now. 
Oh. These chaps are slippery customers. <laughs> I'm going to die here. That's it. Nope, I didn't tell you to get off the machine. Get back on the machine. I can't get a grip of the little blighter. He's too slippery. I hate you. I actually hate you. And there's nothing I can do around here. That's actually going to help me. It has a warmth that you simply don't get with digital. Especially if you burn the sleeve as well. Preserved thanks to the tireless efforts of hipsters from all corners of Shoreditch. The biggest floor filler since concrete. Toxic dart. Lily pad lullabies. Aha! It's a pedal powered vintage gramophone. That's gonna put the frogs to. Oh my god! Oh, sweet bejesus. So now, we're going to play it. The frogs are going to fall asleep. And then we can grab one real quick. Is that what's going to happen? Yep. They're dozing. I can't tell if they're... There you go. Right, we're done here. We're done. Get off the bike. Get the frog before they wake up. How many do we need? Hopefully we're not going to need all three. Okay, go up, go across. Bingo! We got ourselves a frog. Gotcha! Oh, thank God. How long did that take? Like five, six minutes to figure out? And it's not even a difficult solution. That's the worst thing. You know the old saying? A frog in the hand is worth two in the biological... Science testing facility. Okay, now examine it and tell me something I need Jabby to know. Chap. There's a real spring in his step. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, combined with cheese? How convenient. The cheese sticks to his moist green flesh, thus progressing this ethically questionable puzzle. Combined with the rock? I doubt no. combining these two will prove to be particularly useful. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to cook the frog. Which means we're probably going to have to go to the kitchen and go to the microwave, perhaps? To melt the cheese? And, to, I guess, to cook the frog? That that would be sensible as well. Oh my god, that claw machine. It's honestly made me feel a little... Just a smidgen suicidal. Please, just tell me I've got to put it in the microwave, melt the cheese on the frog, and then we're done. Also, a combination I haven't tried is actually smashing the computer with a rock. Don't know what for, but it's worth trying. I'm sure there's a more practical use. We'll agree to disagree about that. Okay, nope. Guess I was wrong. Well, I know these aren't difficult puzzles, but by God. Please? I think it would be best if I did something else with this. I'm going it's to kill you. It's not the worst idea I've ever heard. I remember when they talked about keeping BBC Three. Yes. <laughs> I don't believe the isolation Shut of up. space has forced you to go through the door. The just yet. Through the door. I've had enough of your jip, my good man. Surely I'm not just going to give it to him raw. Or still alive, for that matter. Maybe do a Peter Griffin, poke some holes in the frog's back so he can breathe. Could be a good idea. Once more onto the breach. Shut up. Just be quiet. God damn you, English. I'll just go out, please the French, steal his flag, and then they surrender. That's normally how how it go. No way. I don't oh, think thank God. Get along. I was about to say, if we have to put the air compressor on the frog, I'm I'm about to lose my shit. Can I skip? Please let me skip. Come on. <laughs> You're killing me, man. You're killing me. But dum but dum but dum. Do -do -do -dum. Frog? I can't use these two together. Oh well Alid's completely useless anyway, so let's just leave him. In fact, can I just leave him on this planet? And we fly away? Granted, I don't know if English himself can 
fly the spaceship on his own, considering he is an inept imbecile. Okay, please, Frenchie. Just accept the uh, live frog with cheese. Please? Actually, if I examine it, can I see the cheese on his back? You old saying? You're a kidding. Hand is worth two in the biological My god. I haven't been able to pick anything else up. So I'm guessing this is all we can do. Or maybe he's going to shoot the frog and cook it. If my moderately racist grandparents have taught me anything, please this should work. Accept it. What is this sorry excuse for that? Ooh, is that Swiss cheese? Yes! A slice of Emmental de Soivois would eat the dash right now. Un petit entrée as well? Pierre, les condiments, allez! Don't let him get away. Huzzah! Oh, thank God it works. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure they won't harm him. They're not complete savages, just French. Ha! Remove uh, the tri uh, the tricolor and right. hoist the Union well, flag. You mean the Union Jack? Ah, Electrified. By some kind of high -tech electrical wizardry. On it. I say, I really? The collection of wine. It it's a washing machine. You're calling it a security system? Are you kidding me? For God's sake, man! All right, use the rock. I can't get any closer to the control panel to shut it off. The static's too tingly. I can't get any closer oh, to the control panel. Oh, you're using your rock, you idiot. Emergency stop. Tingly. Throw the rock. Please? Oh, so you step even closer than where you were before. Oh, wonderful. How's that? Okay, so what? Let's take the opportunity. All right, it's off. Let's go. It would appear that only temporarily disabled it. Temporarily? Temporarily, you say? Ah, I'm shocked. Literally shocked at our content. It's unlocked. So technically, that's like inviting us in. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I've got. I'm still, I'm still Francis from... Dorking. You're still Francis from the block? I'm Contact. guessing that's the reference you're trying to make? Okay, run. Cast. As innovative as the tactic of attempting another peek around wouldn't kill anyone. It's not that kind of game. Best hold on to my weighted companion. If I'm unable to find a solution to our current dilemma, I can always use this rock to vent my frustration on something brittle belonging to Alan. Ha! Huh. And uh, I'd rather you just give me that little tip you were about to say on turning this crap off. How's that? Okay. It's a good throwable weight. Aerodynamic looking. Too. See, why is it off this entire time? We'll be able to finally remove that symbol of colonial totalitarian. Best take the opportunity while this is offline to do a spot of rebranding outside. Have I ever told you the definition of insanity? You're killing me, man. All right, Alid, for once, can you do something constructive? Don't just stand there. Sub Lieutenant Jones. Hi, boy. How's the family? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if he's going to Swanley. If I do that, I'll have Give him the rock. Beat him to death. It's Wales own son. Sub Lieutenant Jones. I'm going to kill everyone. I'll just be one. Be little else down here besides this copious stockpile of fermented grape juice. All right, so we have a crap ton of wine. How is this going to help us? This doesn't. Oh. This is killing me, killing me very slowly, painfully. How's that? Just can I please just turn it off and Gosh. back on? It would appear that only temporarily disabled it. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I've got. I'm still, I'm still Francis from... That looks like the emergency stop switch. Well done. It's out of reach. Surely this is a breach of health and safety. Gosh, listen to me. Okay, throw the rock. How's that? Now can you please just tell Alid to turn... Just hold on to my weighted companion. Just if take to find the bloody thing off. Dilemma, I can always use this rock to vent my frustration on something brittle belonging to Alad. 
I don't believe the isolation oh, of space this is getting me. me. With this offline, we'll be able to finally remove. Oh my god. Well, I forgot great. about the goddamn washing machine with the brick in it. Opportunity while this is offline to do a spot of rebranding outside. Oh, this is painful. I'm so sorry, people. Oh, Jesus I Christ. I'm T total. Just take down the flag Victory before something else ours, happens. Lieutenant Jones. Now I know how Nelson felt at Trafalgar. Prior to being shot, of course. Although, I'm fairly certain I pulled something in my throwing arm earlier, so I can empathize. Quick now, really? Lieutenant Jones. We don't have long. You have a flag ready for hoisting? Standard. Say yes. Oh, yes. Is it ready to go? Or leave. Aye, boy. Right. Now make sure it's the right way round. Honestly, the number of people that make that mistake... It's just bad schooling, if you ask me. The right way round. I think I hear someone coming. Will I hoist it now, boyo? Steady, Jones. It isn't official unless we play the national anthem. I'm going to kill you. I have it saved on this anodized aluminium portable music player. I am terribly sorry if this is copyrighted. I've never heard this. Just. Why make me go through this? Quickly, Why? Here. I'm trying. I think oh, fresh. Okay, there I'm you go. Now. Oh, this guy's an idiot. Honest to God. It's just painful. The solutions in this game are absolutely painful. Can you copyright a national anthem? I honestly don't know. Ha! This land is hereby property of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Sibia. Well, uh, pardon? Oh, excuse me. Oh, Christ, he's got a frog's leg. Welcome to this drab. Baron Infertile Rock, Monsieur English. I. The monk. Oh, never mind. Oui. I've discovered a land so abundant and fertile that even the grapes are... Uh, we, harvest, will be so ripe and succulent that even you British, in spite of your primitive, insipid palate, will acknowledge the superiority of our fine French wine. <laughs> Au revoir, Mr. English. Yeah, I don't uh, think you're going anywhere. We better be heading on ourselves, boyo. I can cast them, Lieutenant Jones. Uh, it was delightful meeting you, chair, sir. <laughs> Are we out, chair? Run. Run, get in your ship, and go. Because he is going to... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, he's going to be pissed. Oh. I was about to say, is that blood? But nope. Wine. Oh, yeah, Chardonnay. 2015. A good year. Look for you. Over there. What now? Oh god, what now? Oh, who is this? Why have they got a bomb? Is that a bomb? Oh, here we go. This is America. Come on. Is yep. <laughs> okay. Why does it always rain in England? Depends on sales. <laughs> Hashtag capitalism. Oh my good God. The last defender. Just in case that's copyrighted, that was probably the most painful solution to the final session we've ever had of any game we've ever played. Oh my God. That was horrific. And you know what? Fuck the copyright. Good luck trying to earn any money off of uh, my videos, you bitches. Can I just skip this, please? In case there's like an epilogue or anything? Granted, not like I'm looking for an epilogue for the uh, for this game to actually, you know, continue. But anyway, it seems that that's actually going to be the end of Her Majesty Spiffing. I said it was going to be a mini series, and by God, it was right. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this final session of Her Majesty Spiffing. If you have. 
My god, that's loud. Uh, if you have, be sure to show some love down below by dropping a like. Let me know what you thought about the ending itself in the comment section down below. And other than that, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I shall see you all later.